lesson on the heart and the structure of the human heart and how it carries blood through the body and how it receives blood from the body. So this is the heart. Humans have a four-chambered heart. Here's how I like to draw the heart. It doesn't exactly look like this, but it's not a bad start. These are little valves there. It has two basic sides of the heart. And those two sides are separated by something in the middle called the septum. And the four chambers each have a name. Now the weird thing is that this, even though it's on the left side, is actually your right side of your heart. And that's called the right atrium. And the right atrium receives blood from the body. Blood comes from body and enters your right atrium. Okay? And then it goes into your right ventricle. One way to remember that is this is a kind of a V shape at the bottom, if you remember that. Okay? And from your right ventricle, the right side of your heart's job is to pump blood to the lungs. Because when it comes back from your body, it actually doesn't have any oxygen left. It comes from the body, all the oxygen, or most of the oxygen is gone, it goes to the right atrium, to the right ventricle, gets pumped to the lungs. Now, blood comes back from the lungs, from lungs, to the left side of your heart, to the left atrium, the upper chambers are called the atria. And then goes down here to the left ventricle. And the left ventricle is the strongest part of your heart because it has to pump blood all the way through your entire body, through a large vessel. It's called the aorta, but to the body. It goes all the way to your entire body from the left ventricle. So from the body to the heart, to the lungs, back to the heart, to the body. From the body to the heart, to the lungs, back to the heart, to the body. Heart, to lungs, to heart, to body. Heart, to the lungs, to the heart, to the body. Remember that. Heart, to lungs, to heart, to body. Remember that, you should be all right.